Dean Golden. I'm Dental Director of Riverdale Healthcare, which is a corporate group of practices largely operating in the North Yorkshire and Northeast. Um, I've been a dentist since 1984, uh, established a number of dental practices before joining with Riverdale a couple of years ago. Been always uh, committed to developing high quality surgeries, equipping them well, and um, as air conditioning became available, that was something that we looked at very early on as, uh, as some, something that would make life a lot easier for our clinicians. The obvious problem with air conditioning was uh, keeping surgeons at an ambient temperature for working during a normal summer. The, the problem became acute um, at the beginning of the COVID pandemic. Um, I was invited to join a, a webinar about air purification and how in South Korea they dealt with the SARS-1 um, pandemic by using air filtration, air purification to get back to normal um, much earlier than had perhaps been expected. And I was really interested in, in that whole technology. We were working in closed surgeries. We haven't got uh, any natural ventilation in some of the surgeries. In fact, the majority of surgeries wouldn't have forced ventilation. At one time, there was advice coming from Public Health England that you couldn't use the air conditioning in the surgery, which on top of wearing gowns and additional masks and visors was actually making operating even more uncomfortable. So being able to ensure we could use the air conditioning and reduce the follow time were two really key points from our perspective. I think I first met Craig Brooke from Sub-Zero about 20 years ago. Um, he installed the first units in, uh, in one of our surgeries, we just realized what a, what a difference it made. Craig has always been very cooperative, worked with our different um, building contractors, and always come up with a solution, kept us on top of the technology that was available, which is through him that Panasonic was introduced. It seemed to me to be logical to have an air conditioning system that was designed with some air filtration, air purification in, built into it so that there was little doubt as to whether it's, it could be used um, as part of the air cleaning and the air filtration that we were trying to achieve. Patients, I find, are very aware of um, the requirement for ventilation. And there's a high degree of trust placed by patients coming into the practice that, you know, against the backdrop of severe warnings um, ab about ventilation and about the virus, patients coming into the surgery are looking for reassurance and, and every little thing that we can do helps. I'd always recommend uh, air conditioning in a, in a dental surgery and wouldn't like to, to have to work without it. Now, I would I would just ask somebody to, to ask themselves the question, why, why wouldn't you add this additional benefit? If you're going to invest in air conditioning, even if it adds a little bit of additional cost, it's all adding to your ability to say to um, inspectors such as the CQC that you've gone as far as you possibly can uh, to try and mitigate for any spread of virus or any in in respiratory infections within the surgery. So, you know, it, it's worth, if there is a, a, a slight price premium for this, um, then why not pay for that just to help with the, uh, the, the mitigation of risk?